Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Crit. We've finally gotten all the new designs of the Black Eagle students for Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, and judging by the timetable of this reveal, by next Friday we should have all the Golden Deer students in a trailer too. So make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss my analysis of the Golden Deer students as well. I was really, really looking forward to these. Though we already knew what Edelgard and Hubert looked like from the original Three Hopes trailer, I'll briefly touch on my thoughts on these new redesigns too. I really like the new Edelgard design. I was certainly a fan of her original design too, but sometimes it's just nice to get a cool remix of a character. The Scarlet Pauldrons, roughly armor detail, and her little Empress like Tiara are definitely highlights here for me. Overall, I just really like it. They did a great job. Hubert isn't too different feeling here, though I will say I think his in-game model certainly looks a lot better than the art. He kind of got the messy hair Raphael treatment with this game, whereas in Three Houses he originally had a more dapper look. He's not the only character to get this kind of swap, and we can talk more about that later, but Dimitri is a good example. I like his off-the-shoulder cloak and his armor design, but there's not much else to say about it. It looks about right for a new redesign of our favorite vampire. We can see similar footage here of Edelgard unleashing a fire element attack, very much in line with everything that we know about her as a unit so far. And we also get another better look at Hubert's darkness spikes that he can explode on enemies at will. It's going to be super fun getting enemies spiked and then running around and detonating them on command. I can see Hubert being a lot of fun to play as. Then we get our first look at Dorothea. Man, her three houses time skip design really couldn't be improved upon too much, as it was easily one of the best in my eyes, but they've really managed to do so here. I love her little wispies, her sheer see-through top, the part of her outfit around her neck, and the long billowing sleeves. It just really adds to the medieval aesthetic. Like we've been discussing, since everyone is getting unique spell lists and combat arts in this game, we get to see Dorothea casting some thunder magic, fitting considering she was a great Thoron user in Three Houses, as well as a spell with some cute music notes as a tie-in to her love of music and singing. And we also get to see her cast Meteor. In Three Houses, she was one of the very few units in the game to be able to use that long-range Meteor black magic. The song spell in particular seems to bring enemies together, <laughs> and group them up to be hit even more effectively. This one, uh, they really said, Bernie, get the hell out of your room. We're leaving for war now. And she just put down her arts and crafts and tied her hair out of her face, I guess. It looks like what a parent might do to their five-year-old to keep their hair out of their eyes as they run around like a little gremlin. I guess in that sense, it's perfect for Bernie. Though aesthetically, I certainly prefer her more elegant and refined look from Three Houses. This one makes more sense for the character. I was quite shocked seeing her original time skip design as I felt it was a huge glow up for her out of nowhere. And it was weird seeing her still act pretty much the same as she did with the messy hair, but now in this new elegant state. Bernie has some interesting stuff here. One of her abilities freezes enemies around her, and another features her spazzing out and then raining down a bunch of arrows on a large area of enemies. Ferdinand looks Von Epic. I definitely understood the direction of him with his original long locks and the time skip appearance in Three Houses, but I like this one much better. It seems a more natural evolution of his original hairstyle. Sharp and stylish. His outfit in the artwork kind of looks like a rich kid thug about to show off his Lambo to you though, but in game it certainly looks a lot better. We get to see a pretty familiar looking special attack where he unleashes a bunch of strikes and an earth explosion, and then multiple lance attacks forward as he charges. I want to say this reminds me of Swift Strikes a bit, and he also gets wide sweeping attacks that take up a lot of the screen. Once again, very reminiscent of a lot of the Paladin attacks from the first Warriors game. Kaspar's design is another blowout. Much like Holst and Sylvain, it seems the blowout is back in style in Fodlin this time around. I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't hate it, and I think it makes sense for Kaspar, as his more elegant Three Houses time skip one seemed almost a little too cool for someone charging into battle at every opportunity. But I'm gonna have to see if this one grows on me or not. Interestingly enough, he's also got a Harry Potter-esque forehead scar, so I'm wondering if somehow that's going to factor into the game's story, his supports, or if that's just an interesting aesthetic choice since he's a little reckless. You're a wizard, Kaspar. Either that, or he's taking you to Flavortown. The memes out there are great, by the way. <laughs> a cool detail about his armor is that he's got his gauntlets attached to his waist, either to harken back to his proficiency with brawling, which so far it's not clear if it will be in the game or not, we have seen what is likely to be Kaspar's father, Count Burglies, seeming like he's brawling, but it's not clear yet, and it's weird that they decided to give him an axe instead, so maybe it's not? 
We'll have to see. Or it's just to indicate that he's a little bit more hands-on and doesn't care at all for the restrictive defensive trappings of traditional armor getups. Kaspar is using an axe this time around, and he gets a nice little whirlwind attack. It could be this game's version of Wild Abandon or something, but who knows. And he also gets an attack that seems to blow away enemies in front of him. Oh my Naga, Petra. Petra was definitely a design I was eagerly anticipating. She had one of the most interesting and unexpected time skip designs in the first game, so I knew we were probably in for something special again here. She almost reminds me of an Egyptian or Middle Eastern empress, which is super fitting for her considering her heritage. And though I'll always miss her original pre-time skip design and her hairdo before, this is really fitting and really a great design all around. We can see that she's dual wielding daggers here, which is absolutely new to this game as there were no dagger users of any kind in the first Fire Emblem Warriors. I was really sad not to see Kagero, personally, but maybe that's just me. I'm not surprised. Seems like her attacks will probably have the wind element, and she gets a lot of cool forward strikes where she almost teleports, cutting through enemies. And there's also even a bow attack where she jumps back and shoots an explosive shot. Petra was always good with a bow. I love Linhardt's new design. I found his original time skip design in Three Houses to be kind of boring, but this one really retains that lazy Linhart look while also keeping his refined status as a noble. His outfit is slightly girly, at least in the artwork, but I really like it. It looks to me like he's got light magic, once again perfectly fitting, and he can shoot a bunch of blasts in a wide area as part of his normal attacks. Linhart didn't get any faith magic based attack spells in Three Houses, so this is a slight alteration here, but I think that it makes sense. He did, however, get wind spells like Excalibur and a fire spell with Bolganon, though. So I wonder if his kit is going to feature any of those on top of these light magic attacks. We can see some little green orbs that almost seem to be traps that he can set or something like that. Maybe enemies can walk into them and get damaged. Those could be wind element. And as far as what these light magic spells are, maybe they've retroactively given him aura or Abraxas or some spells like that. He's also the only character to have gotten some sizable face alterations with this time skip design. For most of these new bits, they've faithfully used the original time skip faces to work from and base the new ones off of. However, Linhart's face is considerably differently shaped now. It's not a big deal or anything, but it's just an interesting little piece of trivia. With each trailer, I'm growing more and more excited for this game, and I really hope it can live up to the hype and be a great continuation of all these amazing characters and great stories from Three Houses. What do you think about the new Black Eagles designs? Whose is your favorite? Let me know. If you haven't yet, be sure to check out my thoughts and breakdown on the Blue Lions trailer, and make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss my Golden Deer trailer when it's out next week. Shout out to all the channel patrons for making content like this possible. Thank you so much for supporting the video by slashing the thumbs up or sharing it. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Golden Root and Happy Ending confirmed. They have Conditioner now. It's still very fitting for him, though. His new outfit is also very reminiscent of his original monastery.